Welcome back. It is time for another episode. So, we'll start with <laughs> some damage. So, we've seen a lot. We've seen what's happening up top. top. Yeah, that's still... Actually, honestly, I haven't looked at, looked at it for a couple weeks. Lo and behold, switching uh, from one recording device to another is not the greatest thing. I am not paying attention to chat. So, we don't need this, and we don't need that. So, we have been everywhere. We still don't have a lid, we don't have a back wall, we haven't quite completed the small wall. It's coming. I just want to make sure I have enough diorite for other things first. That's just a small update. So we'll go down into the ores. We've been all the way to the left. We've been into the uh, stone area. So everybody knows that. I've been busy. So between replacing look at my skills. Okay. Between replacing all the uh, diorite and stuff and the cow farm. That's the cow farm. We are only at like uh, 45 so I've cut out quite a bit uh, I've also laid out my next area to dig I keep coming across areas like this so this one was just a little uh, gravel area but there are areas that are just simply uh, yeah just simply mob farms and my tiny mob farm of too wide <laughs> has been doing better so yeah so I've done a bit of editing a bit of cutting out a bit of fixing a bit of oh right there's a hole but the hole goes from here all the way back for next level. And I'm thinking from here to there. So chunks, 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 chunks. <laughs> my audio is cutting out and I can't even hear my full words. But you'd see up to here is a chunk. Up to here is a chunk. So that's what we're going to be working on next. But this area is only a hundred wide. Where the stream is, is center of all the farms. So I try to include. See, this, this is what I'm talking about. There is a cave up there. And of course, creepers fall all the time. But you come around the corner, and you know, got a little bit more distance. So from that far wall to the water stream, the lights right there, is 90 blocks. From that wall to that that wall is 100 blocks. So I left this area a little lower is <laughs> I dug this area completely out and that was a lot of netherite picks to, to repair. But since I've been close to the bell farm, I can get about three quarters to one uh, netherite pick fixed. So when I get down about 90%, I can repair it pretty good. Not great. But again, just 
when I'm repairing stuff. Like, you even know where that is? Come. Well, I hope. I, I really hope. Hope I, I lit that up. Cause, yeah. So, since I've now shown you the area, I will take down, take down the area walls and start on digging and digging and digging so was planned for a bit of different uh, so down here I placed a few extra shulkers started it then decided I'm not gonna dig down down here but we will do is go look at my creeper farm. I haven't really looked at it too much. I haven't been in the area too long, like a thousand restarts, but it is what it is. And I almost forgot where the creeper farm was. Okay. So for those who, uh, who remember, that's my creeper farm. That is it. That is, where am I getting stuck? Oh, oh. <laughs> the glass. So in this area, I have one, but like it give me 18 for the day or for part of the day. That's a good chunk of how much I use. Uh, for the day I mean for something this this small that's just yeah it's efficient for what it is but and being that it's a Y72 probably be four or five times more efficient it was lower down but that's what this is for I prepped for a few extra areas oh just weird materials but a couple extra mine carts a couple extra big items uh, observers I didn't need observers did I uh, don't remember, don't think so, but don't remember. <laughs> I pretty much planned to make a giant version this next season. Um, so I hope it doesn't need it, the observers. I don't plan on getting, using a lot of the, a lot of those. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, get back to it and dig out that small area. All right, guys, we're back. You've seen the back of the cow farm before, of course, of course. But uh, I've been a little busy, a little busy, busy bee. And I've dug. And I've dug. And I've dug dug so much it uh, dug into the base of the original the original uh, base a beacon base so this is the first beacon base um, now that we're tearing into it I will fix up the uh, structure and make that look like it's a nice little structure for the beacon um, might just end up just being a uh, location later but like a little building with nothing inside but that's fine and of course 100 percent spawn proof is this beacons here and we don't need one so close to each other so ore storage way up there now i've also been a little busy bee with the uh mob farm 
I've used probably 200 rockets today. I have another five gunpowder, that's awesome. Sugar cane, this is like 10 minutes worth or something like that. And yeah, this farm is not complete. It is 100% 100 uh, not complete, but it is functioning quite correctly. Up and up and up. So again, piston. Sorry, piston. Observer. Red stone, I'll steal that back. Don't need that piece. And uh, yeah, so just grab a couple of these. And that's how it works. So, for the most part, it works pretty well. And they'll disappear here in a sec. And it goes up and goes back down. So it's going to take a little bit to uh, for it to unload. I'll grab it on the way back. But, boom. And it's empty. That's why I added the extra hoppers on this line. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So it'll go five up, and it'll take five more when it's coming back down. Easy peasy, nice and quick. 10 at a time, so it's ready for maximum. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever have that maximum, but we'll, we'll see. Because uh, that's a lot of sugar cane, because I've been just making it to boiling meal at this point. Now the creeper farm. This is the creeper farm that you've seen in the other videos and probably at the beginning of this one as well knowing how much I like oh, another two. So how much creeper, my creeper poop did I get? Gun farm did I get? Well enough to make about this many rockets today. So I am okay. Um, I will probably figure a way to turn it off um, so that it doesn't have to continually run. I do have a few ideas about that and one of them is simply powering each piston inside to clear them up so nothing spawns. You might ask what this is. This is a workstation. It is my ore workstation. I have no ores on me. I will grab an ore. Or two. So if we have some ores in one of our hands, we have our pickaxe with the with the uh, fortune on it. There's kind of a couple spots that you can do. That you can literally just go at her. Oh. Redstone works better on there, but you just clear it up and uh, this is uh, fairly decently quick to get all of your ores nice and uh, covered. And take some XP out of there, not that it helped. Any more? Uh, that was pretty good for a fortune. Three. So we got a stack and a quarter stack. And I might as well put them into coal forms. Boom. Done. And uh, you might ask what I'm going to be doing with all these coal blocks. Donating them. For a giant build on the server. That requires a yes to the question of how many coal blocks did you need. All the coal blocks, all the time, 100% of the way. So, um, so far I've decided to kind of keep that uh, amethyst as it is. I did try cutting around it a bit to preserve as much as possible. Because I kind of feel bad to just tear it out, being so close to my AFK spot. So, 
I mean, it's more things and more activities and things growing and checking every tick, so I might tear it out, but it is what it is. So that will be taken out shortly, probably. Yeah, shortly. I may take a few days break from uh, digging because between the public server, uh, public server event that we cleared up the rest of the uh, gunpowder for that area and this little dig it's been a while like a week like we go into the statistics go to items go to times mind that was not the number where I started from it was 190 ish thousand that is a lot more than anticipate yes I've only done 32,000 direct but if we go to times used my netherite pickaxe was 626,000. That is almost three times as much as when I started. Uh, diamond pickaxe, I guess I'd do that much work over at the dig site. It seemed like there was more work there. But, if you go down, I see the fireworks there. Which one is that? I've crafted 1,122 fireworks so far, and I've used 3,767. So we should probably start balancing that out just a little bit. So yeah, it is times broken, times broken, times broken, times broken. Oh look, another right hole. Oh look, I've broken another eye pickaxe. Surprise, surprise. Uh, looks like there's only a couple of netherite things I broke. Yeah. So, this is it for today. So, have a good day. And I am in the dark. And, and goodbye.